We are helping the school and the county plant trees for a riparian buffer. And you can see the turnout's been super impressive. This is about an hour and a half's worth of work. So you start by digging a hole that is about twice as wide as the plant pot and the same, de <laughs> same depth as the pot here because you want to plant the top of the soil within the pot at the same level as the soil where you're transplanting. There's been a lot of rocks today. Not just today, they're always there. They don't move. <laughs> There we go. That was a good one. So after you dig for a bit, you can take the pot and see how much more you need to make the depth. You can see that's pretty darn close. Um, oh, it's a root. Uh, dropping roots today, boy. You want to put the dirt close to your hole because you're going to have to use it to put back instead of flinging it everywhere. Um, <laughs> about that. He's trying to I think that's probably pretty close, honey. That'll be good, you think? Yeah, because you take it out of the pot. So... You take it out of the pot, and then you want to massage the root ball so that the roots can spread out once they're in their new hole, but you don't want to be too rough with them, so you just want to soften that bottom edge, and then you want to plant it to the side of the hole. It's I'll hold okay. it for You're you. You're not supposed to shove it all the way down, Mom. Oh, the sandal, this sandal, the soil is sandy. The was... sandal is soily. <laughs> then you want to press it down so that it's firm but not hard. And then we take oh, that guy. Then we mark it with the little flag so that people can come by and install the stake and the shelters. Did you just take a full video without actually taking the video? I absolutely did. Because <laughs> I'm a professional YouTuber. So you may be wondering why we did this. This was organized through the Chesapeake Bay watershed, the Pennsylvania State Extension Office, and our local school district in order to create a riparian buffer. And what that is, is it's basically a vegetated area near a stream that helps shade and protect the waterway um, from the adjacent land use. Um, in this example, that means our school's campus. Now, this is a 20-acre section of property that is going to be planted over three years in order to help control erosion and flooding, reduce runoff and soil degradation, uh, to help keep the stream banks stable and minimize damage from flooding locally and downstream. And all of this will contribute the whole way downstream to the Chesapeake Bay uh, by reducing the sediment flowing into it into our water supply and in turn helping with pollution and increasing the quality of the water for the native flora and fauna, for the fish, and also increasing the amount of natural live foods within these waterways in order to further facilitate the health and, and 
everything of all of the water in this area. Where I live, it is, I think, extremely beautiful. Um, and so we, over the course of two days, planted over 770 trees, which is phase one of three part program to create this riparian buffer. And I'm really proud of our community and really proud of our school. And I will put links down in the description should you guys want to try and do something similar in your areas. Uh, I know there's a big fun drive by Mr. Beast called teamtrees.org where you can donate to help save the environment.